to you it hath been granted in the behalf of anointed, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer in his behalf, having the same conflict which ye saw in me, and now here to be in me. Philippians chapter 2 If there is therefore any exhortation in anointed, if any consolation of mindful love, if any agreed partnership of spirit, if any bowels and compassions, fill ye my joy, so that ye be thinking the same, having the same mindful love, ones joined of soul, thinking the one thing, doing nothing according to self-interest, neither according to vain glory, but in the humility regard one another as surpassing oneself, each of you not looking after his own things, but each of you also the things of others. This be ye thinking in you, which also in anointed Yeshua was thought, who being in God's form, counted not the thing that things are being equal in God to be loot, but emptied himself, having received a bondservant's form, having become in men's likeness, and having been found in fashion as a man. He humbled himself, having become obedient unto death, even death of a cross, for what reason also the God hyper-exalted him, and graced to him the name above every name, so that in the name of Yeshua every knee should bow, of things in skies and things on earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yeshua anointed is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. So then, my beloved, even as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, be ye accomplishing your own salvation with fear and trembling, for the one working in you both to be willing and to be working is God, for the good pleasure of himself." Be ye doing all things without murmurings and questionings, that ye may become blameless and harmless, children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom ye are seen as lights in the world, holding forth the word of life, that I may have whereof to glory in the day of anointed, that I did not run in vain, neither labor in vain. Yea, and if I am offered upon the sacrifice and priestly ministration of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all, and in the same manner also ye, be ye rejoicing, and be ye rejoicing together with me. But I hope in Lord Yeshua to send the Moteo shortly to you, that I also may be of good comfort when I know your state. For I have no man like-minded who will care truly for your state. For they all seek their own, not the things of Yeshua anointed. But ye know the proof of him, that as a child serveth a father, so he served with me into the announcement. Him therefore I hope to send immediately, so soon as I shall see how it will go with me. But I trust in the Lord that I myself also shall come shortly. But I counted it necessary to send to you Epaprodito, my brother and fellow worker and fellow soldier, and your sent one and servant to my need, since he longed after you all and was greatly troubled because ye had heard that he was sick, for indeed he was sick near to death. 
But the God had mercy on him, and not only on him, but on me also, that I might not have sorrow upon sorrow. I have sent him therefore the more diligently, that when ye see him again, ye may rejoice, and that I may be the less sorrowful. Receive him therefore in the Lord with all joy, and hold such in honour, because for the work of anointed he came near to death hazarding his soul to supply that which was lacking in your priestly ministration toward me. Finally, my brothers, be ye rejoicing in Lord Yahweh.